This video is going to go through some of the settings you want to check before you give an assessment through Google Forms. Now I've created this for my world history class and so I've gone through here and you can kind of do a quick little check to make sure you're all good. I'm going to collect their first and last name so I can sort it by their last name for grading purposes and then I can go through and double check all these things in here. Again you want to make sure the answer key says that each one is worth one point but then you should be great. Now if you click on this little gear over here this will give us the settings for our quiz. Now first of all I would make sure that you restrict it to ASD users if it's going to be a quiz for your class. Now if you're going to give a form to someone outside of the district to parents obviously you'll want to unclick this. I would also whenever I'm doing a quiz click the button that says collect email address. This will make sure that when anyone puts in their name that it actually is really them taking the quiz. So it's whoever is going to be logged onto that Chromebook. So I always click collect email address. It also keeps you kind of backed up if you forgot to ask their first and last name on the quiz. We want to limit to one response and then you have to decide if you want the people that are taking it to get, basically if you click on this, it says respondents receive a copy of their responses. I maybe don't want them to have that, but it's up to you if you would want them to have that. Then you have to decide too if they want to be able to edit after they submit, which I do not want, and I don't want them to see necessarily a summary of the responses of other people that have taken this. Now presentation is your ability to um, change the message at the end, like your response has been recorded, will be the one that everyone gets unless you change this. You can show a progress bar of how far they are on there, and you can also shuffle the question order. Now the only way that I would do this is if you would make your first and that last name on a different page. So just kind of be aware of that. Otherwise, in the middle of their quiz, you'd maybe have last name. So it's kind of up to you, but that could be a nice little trick for students maybe that are taking it during class because not all students will be on the same question at the same time. And then finally, in the quizzes tab, you can obviously see that we've made this a quiz and it assigns point values. And then you have to decide whether you want them to release the grades right after their submission so they could see how they did or if you want it to be later. Now we're going to use this just as a review quiz in class. It's not actually going to be graded. Um, but I just want to see how they do. So I'm going to let them immediately see the responses. And then these are the things that they can see. Missed questions, correct answers and point values. So maybe you wanted to not let them see what the correct answers are, but they could see maybe they got the third one wrong. It's really up to you. And then you'll hit save. And those are the different settings that you can edit in Google Forms.